But the idea was it's just to, it's, it's American music of, of a great patriotic vintage and, and, and history. Yes. And what we've done is, is a little bit of everything. We've scanned the, the, Ameri the Americana books yeah. and, and we have 13 or 14 songs here that uh, all have to do with, except yeah. the one national anthem of it, isn't our it? country. Yes, we're doing O Canada. <laughs> isn't arranging patriotic songs like this, isn't there an issue, uh, you have to answer this as an arranger, isn't there an issue of how far do you go? I, I work on the, on, the, uh, on the military system of what I've heard in Britain and, and, and in the States, you know, and, and I, that's why I have a lot of bugle calls and things like that. And, I see. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a military man. My father was, but I'm not. But uh, I have. A, I mean, I started to, to arrange during the Korean War, and we had we had radio shows on during the Korean War, and I, I learned quickly how to do uh, military music. You know. I see. With, uh, with these drums, bugles, uh, calls, things like that. Yeah. And I, I never stopped because I uh, this, my band went on the air with CBC. And I kept writing. And I kept writing all the time. <laughs> isn't isn't uh, what I was getting at? Isn't there an issue if you're approaching a piece like arranging a piece like the Star Spangled Banner, O Canada, Stars and Stripes Forever, George M. Cohan? There, there, there aren't there certain places? Perhaps you feel you can't go oh, harmonically. Harmonically, oh yes, definitely, yeah. You have to. You don't. You don't change the chords like like some kind of, uh, contemporary jazz pianists do. You know, it's, it's too jarring. It's, 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 yeah. It doesn't. It often doesn't work with the with the melodies. I mean, George M. Cohen melodies are, are very very diatonic. They're not chromatic. They're just. Yeah. They're, they're, over there is all bugle calls. Da da da. Yeah. Da da Yeah. And the grand old flight. Da 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 da. They're all thirds and fourths. And even if people don't, young people, say, mm. don't know the tunes, they're aware, there, there's something, maybe a, a national consciousness of an era, mm -hmm. so that they would know immediately if you were over the top, say, with your... Oh, oh but definitely, yeah. And certainly the older people would, would, would uh, ask, you what are you doing? You don't fool around with the Stars and Stripes or with O Canada as far as changes. Now I put, in O Canada, I put the, the counter melody in it, which is unlike anything else. But, yes. But uh, I didn't change any chords. Yeah. You know, yeah. the chord instruction is the same. Yeah. The treatment Except is, for the one chord <laughs> that, well, that I, I brought that gong. That was the wrong chord. note. And it was the wrong note. <laughs> But I heard it and I thought, oh, that is really interesting. That's very interesting. That and so I wrote the Tam Tam note, <laughs> only to find out that it was a wrong, wrong note. note. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the, the idea of, of, of dressing up this music with brass and percussion is, is strictly a Canadian brass approach. I mean, I've never heard anybody else doing this. Brass, brass ensembles in Canada have been, uh, that's a British tradition. Yeah, British tradition, sure. Yeah. So we had the, we had a real tour de force of, of brass playing and, and percussion. Yeah, the, the guys are just playing beautifully. Oh yeah, yeah.